Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another Crab's Treasure. We just reached New Carcinia Reef's Edge, so I'm assuming this is going to be the way that we go to get to the city. Let's uh, take a look at that and see where we can get here. Is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Anything down? Absolutely not. We have the platform here. Hair of the Dog, thank you for a $2 super chat. I appreciate that. Let's get you up on the leaderboard. Thank you so much. Continuing on here, enemies. Maybe we should choose our special ability that we just got from the boss and see how it, how it works. Well, it worked well, but only on one enemy. I'm surprised it didn't hit the other. I am surprised it missed. get up there. Is this bounce? It's a bouncy sponge. Barbs up. These are a few projectile spewers. Yep. Uh, I was trying to do a plunging attack and apparently it didn't work. Look at these schools of fish swimming around. <laughs> We've got a can down there. Another blowfish. Annoying. These guys are annoying, man. Blowfish with a party hat. Do we do this? I think I'm going to put on the shell just to fight the blowfish, and then I'm going to put the coconut back on. Back on, cool. <clears throat> the hermit crab. La, la, la. Anything down there? Yes, a hidden item. He's got a toothpick with an olive on it. Where did he get that from? No, 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 no! Wrong ability. I meant to heal and I pressed X. That was bad. I almost killed myself. Okay. <laughs> Another barbed hook. That was a close one, dude. I almost killed myself. Am I a fan of coconut dishes? I'm a fan of coconut as an ingredient in dishes. I don't think I've ever just ate a dish of coconut. I hit them both. Sweet. healing. Perfect. There we go. What just happened? Oh no, I didn't see that. I totally didn't see the purple stuff. What happened? I got hit by this guy and I can't see. I can't move. I'm dead. And then he killed himself. Do you see what I mean? How wonky this is? He was hitting me through the wall. I couldn't see the enemy. I somehow end up on top. I'm stuck in place. I can't move whatsoever. And then it's a cheap death. And now I've lost my coconut. And it's not my fault. It's the game. Man, this is going to be frustrating when it's this wonky. It is going to be very freaking frustrating trying to play this. This is an interesting ability. You spin to win. All I want to do is grab this item. That I keep swapping helmets or uh, shells because of the same input. That is a problem. Since everything is Y, you're going to constantly be doing the wrong thing that you don't want. Okay. 
Oh, there's a shortcut hook up there. Crap, but well, we can't get to it yet. We have to do everything else first. Use it later. The bugs are funny, don't shut. They're funny to you, but they're not very funny to me because I'm trying to play the game. You know, like, I want the game to function right. What just happened? I accidentally left, lost my shell? Like, oh my god. I can't move right now. I'm dead! I lost everything. Dude, come on. Whatever. How did he interrupt me? It's frustrating as shit. Screw this. Screw this. If the joke's on you, there's no fall damage. For some reason, you're not noticing, it's not using my ability when I do the spin attack. I don't know why it doesn't use the ability when I use the spin attack. That's weird. Every other ability has used the, the purple charge. It's not using it for this, so... Is this a broken item? A thimble? Fortify. Grant your shell invincibility for the next three hits it blocks. Okay, I like the spin attack, though. I don't know why the spin attack isn't using... It recovers from each hit and refills. Dude, that's, they're going to fix that. There's no way you use an ability and immediately just get the ability charge back. Like, that breaks the whole ability system. They're gonna, I bet they're going to pack that out and fix it. Oh, there's an item he dropped. Another bar took. So we're probably gonna bounce across. Saw a crab down there. That's probably where we're going. Is there anything over here? No. Okay. What the? What just happened? I guess not. I bounced here and I got hurt. Couldn't control that though. I'm just gonna follow this because it might be the shortcut, so we don't have to do this again. Enemies like everywhere. Is that an area over there? But I don't know if we're supposed to do that. Like, I don't know if I can make it over there or not. Maybe I can. Do I really want to chance it though, or do I want to see if I open the shortcut first? Another sitting spot. Yeah, I don't know what these are for. We found a few of them, but we don't know what they do yet. Any sharks yet? No. Jellyfish, yes. When you die, there's a jellyfish you revive on. See, so they basically want me to go that way, but that's where I came from. So where do they want me to go? Down? No, that's where I came up. I... I don't actually know where they want me to go. Oh, up here. They want me to climb this coral. See that? Well, if that's the case, then this back here might actually be an optional item. Oh crap, I almost died. I think they want me to jump across here. Okay. This is optional. So how do we how do we climb this thing? Aha. ability is broken as hell. It's the best in the game by far. The ability just kicked all their asses.
T star times one. We already have one though. Yeah, now we have three. We have three C stars? I think so. I wonder if you can combine them later and make them more powerful. <clears throat> so this spin attack is ridiculously good. And then we get back. This is how we get back. That's all it was. It was do all that for a C star. That's it. Well, that was kind of lame. There's nothing better than that. That's the reward, the C star. Huh. I guess so. Well, that wasn't much of a secret. I already had it. <laughs> There's a dude all the way up there. But I don't know how we would get that high. I think now we're supposed to just go back down the way we came. And go climb up that coral. I don't think we can cross here. That looks way too far. Yeah, we're not going to be able to reach that. Alright, I guess we're climbing the coral. the shortcut. Cool. Definitely do that. The hook. Man, I could level up and I feel like I'm going to waste it if I die now. You know? Well, let's keep going. Pros and cons of the game? It's, it's fun exploration, right? I actually am liking the parry system. And I like the world design. The cons, the wonkiness. That the camera's not very good. It gets it gets stuck or locked on or goes through walls. That you can click through in plat platforms. That sometimes you're doing something and it kind of doesn't come out right. Or it doesn't really work properly. Pretty frustrating in that regard. I don't know what's going on right now. Look at this. Tell me what just happened. I have no idea. What is ha Look at this. There's explosions. I don't even know where to go. I'm stuck. I, I healed twice. I pressed up. It didn't immediately heal. So I was like, oh, it didn't register. I'll press it again. Then he heals twice. You see what I mean? About the wonkiness and impreciseness? I don't even know what this is. I'm on. It's a special item. Like, it's glowing. So what do I do to it? Am I supposed to do something to this? Why is it glowing? I don't get it. It's like a special block, but I can't do anything with it. Nothing, nothing affects it. It's just, it's a special block that doesn't do anything. So, it's probably a hidden item, but I can't do anything with it yet, I guess. <clears throat> You're kidding. That was a big upgrade I needed there, too. You saw the item? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, it's a recharge station. By the way, there's another one of those cubes. So do I platform there? I guess I should because I see a crystal. And I want the crystal. No way! No way! <laughs> the wonkiness! The wonkiness of the platforming, dude. What in the holy hell? Like, 
No way, dude. Okay, I made it this time. Ugh. Friendly? We got a friendly. Got a new shell. A tennis ball rollout. Roll forward at high speed to cover long distances or smack into your enemies. That's the same as the coconut, but it looks like it's less durable, right? Hmm. So wait. I guess I should have went the other way because that looks like the optional way to go. The other way first because this looks like this is how we continue on with the story. Yup. Okay, let's not do that. Let's go this way. Uh, or not. I don't think I can get up here. I think this is the way da back. So I need to do it from the other direction. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Maybe the glowing blocks do something later. If you have a new ability, you come back. You gotta try to remember. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, come on, look where they put the healing. That's another problem. If you're gonna give me a healing item, actually give me the healing item. Don't make the healing item float, and then I can't get to it. That is really stupid. So I don't think I can do this yet. I think you need to do something with that block, and it's gonna allow us to get height. We can actually get over there, because as is, I don't think we can reach over there right now to see what's over there. I think there's optional stuff. We just can't get to it. Okay, I can go. This is the highest I can go. I can't reach that. I definitely can't reach over there where the bottles are. That's too far. Hmm. So, I have no healing. Yeah, I definitely feel like you're going to be able to do something with this later. It'll give you like a boost or launch you or something. You'll be able to go up there. Yeah, see there's a platform here. So once you can do something with this, it probably launches you up there, and then you can take that jellyfish across, and you probably find optional stuff over there, right? It's probably gonna tell me I have to roll out to go to the next part. Watch. Hey there, pal. You like going fast? No, I hate it. Well, it's your unlucky day. You're going to need some wicked speed to get over the ramp. We're not going to... Walking ain't going to cut it. Neither is sprinting. Okay. That's where I come in. Boblo, five times still racing league champ at your service. They had to give us the snails in our own league because we're so damn fast. Okay. I'm going to tell you how to, how to get, get speed so insane. Your grandma's antenna will be twisting in her grave. Or maybe she's still alive. That might be insensitive either way. Does me this kind of crazy movement will peel your gills back. Draw your exoskeleton while you're still underwater. Boil your damn shell. All right, whatever. Are you ready to accept this risk? A lot of people say they are and before, but they're addicted to speed. Comes to good critters down here. Are you sure? Yeah, why not? You're going to want to sprint towards the ramp and then press the block button. Neat. Very cool. Now I can get a level. Roll out. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do? Either attack or vitality, I think. I'll do attack. Okay. Cool. 
And, uh... I guess we go back there later once we get whatever the ability is to do something with those blocks. Okay. That's blocked there. This gate is closed. I guess we're going this way. No one here to tell us why it's closed. No. Can't walk between. Okay. We're going this way. Do 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 do. Oh god, what happened there? That was a graphical problem. Holy shit. Oh god, it's happening again. It looks like as it's rendering things, it makes the game freeze. That is a nice bridge. Look at that. That is a very nice bridge. You think it's a boss? Maybe there's a boss. <clears throat> it got quiet. I feel like it's a boss. <laughs> Over here. The music just stopped dead. Keeps me out. It definitely looks like the city. Try using roll attack on the blocks. Oh, you think so? You think that would work? Roll attack? New car. New car. Cynia. They're asleep? Mm hmm. They're asleep. Is everyone in New Carcinia asleep? What happened? Nothing here. Going to the city. Hopefully we can do a lot here. We got a lot of things to trade in. And some levels. Anything under the gate? Under the fan or under the uh, bridge, excuse me? No. It's funny, the bridge is like a cheese grater or something with the holes in it. I wonder if that's what it's supposed to be. It'd be a pretty big cheese grater though. And this is how we go. Uh -huh. For whom the bell tolls. Oh, look, it's a receipt. <laughs> That's funny. The streets are receipts. Dominoes. Oh, this is cool world design, man. I really like this world design. Look at this. High tide moonshine. Uh, nice to see a fresh face in town right before trash day too. What's trash day? He doesn't know. He doesn't know what trash day is. I couldn't spoil the surprise now. You'll know soon enough. Oh, God. Oh, boy. That is the long, complex history of Slacktide's trade route with New Carcinia. Wow. So glad I stuck around there to learn all that lore. Thanks, Uncle Adi. Uncle Adi. up there. Can't get to them, though. Oh, wait, can we talk here? Hello there. Um, hello, ma'am. Have you come from Slacktide? The bridge is usually reserved for traders, soldiers, or nobles, and you don't look like any of those, dear. Unless perhaps you're one of those neo-nobles that chooses not to flaunt your wealth. How exciting. What's the Duchess's court like? Is she as gorgeous as they say? Uh, yeah, she was. I mean, she's pretty. You're not so bad yourself, little noble. Care to come up to my apartment? Whoa! Have a nice day, ma'am. Wow. Hitting on him. How old is he supposed to be? This place is huge. Enamored with the sight of our fair city, I can honestly say I've never seen anything like it. We should go and explore, but I'd say topside if I were you. See can host pretty sketchy characters. There's two parts of the city. Topside and seabed. Welcome to New Carcinia. Cortellini? A beacon of civilization among the harsh violence of the sands between. Get it? The sands between instead of the lands between? A testament to the prevailing power of industry. The city of dreams, the big crab apple. And the defining pillar of the trash economy which supports our all of crustacean society. How did I get into this conversation? My name, you ask? Tortellini, the town greeter at your service. I'm beyond excited to meet two new visitors in a single day. Is that a lot? Not at all. We usually get 20 or 30. Then why? Wait, did you say two? Who was the other one? Was it a shark carrying the coolest shell you've ever seen? Oh, a friend of yours? Not at all. I gotta kick that guy's butt and get my shell back. 
Oh, a sworn enemy then. This day gets more exciting by the minute. I gotta catch him before he sells my shell to who knows who. Can you tell me where he went? Not at all. I greeted him with gusto and then uh, didn't give him a second thought. What sort of town greeter would I be if I looked behind me to keep tabs on those I'm already greeting, rather than facing forward to greet those yet to come? Okay, okay, okay. Where would someone trying to sell a shell go then? I can think of exactly four places. They might have tried to sell it to Shellfish Desires, the luxury goods store. Or, if it's more of an antique shell, they may have gone to check the museum curator to purchase it. Failing those, they might have actually visited Bottom Feeders, the dive bar in the lower crust, to try to pass it off as some piece of gutter trash. And finally, they would have gone to the black back alley blacksmith to sell it for scrap. Thank you so much. I'll check out all of those places. Got cod speed small fry. Would that I could give you more of a tour. My work is never done whilst the remain travelers left ungreeted. All right. So we know there's four places to check out for commerce. Aha, this item. Oh, no. Oh! Well, guess what? The blacksmith at a save point. I guess we'll hit up the save point. <laughs> Hopefully we can get back up there because I missed the item. There's the blacksmith. A big mustache. Here we go. Here we go. Very good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but there's an item. A rusty nail. Get more attack, but less magic. And three re resistance required. I see. Can we climb these ladders? Do these work? No. The ladders are for show, and you can't climb them. What the heck? Ah, oh, and I wasted an ability. Well, I don't know what the point of a ladder is if you can't actually use it, right? This is how we get back up. We bounce back up. I see. Oh, there's an item there. Can we walk across these wires? Yes, if I'm very careful. Here we go. Look at this. My wife just got home, so I'm going to have to uh, take a brief break. Sack, just to make sure Jasper Kitty is uh, downstairs. Barbed hook. We can walk around on these wires. And there's items all throughout the city. See that? There's some platforming required. I'm going to try to get that item again. There's a couple... Oh, there's a crystal over there. That'll allow us to get the uh, upgrade that we want to get back at the Moon Snail. Yeah, you can see there's an item down there. There's an item there. There's a lot of items to get in town. There's another crystal over there. So we're definitely going to want to take some time exploring the town and getting all of these items. Okay? All right. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I think we should explore the town. Grab all these items that we're seeing, right? So if we go this way... Got it. A sand dollar. We already had one. Now. There we go. We're going to be able to get some good items in this town. Then we're going to be able to get upgrades and all kinds of stuff. Excellent. Anything down here? Any items? Not that I can see. So multiple items in this direction. Right down there. I'll give him a place to sit. I don't know what the significance is of sitting, right? You have enough money for for the taking to retire if you play it right. If you fought wings, the height money would be unreal. Don Fabucci, what the hell are you talking about? What in the holy hell are you talking about? First of all, you do realize that when wings fought Boogie, they made very little money. And... They're in no better position now than they were before the fight, right? You realize that. You realize that since they fought, there's no tons of offers coming in for more future fights like apparently they probably thought there was going to be. You notice that, right? Like, <laughs> the whole thing was stupid as shit. The entire thing was dumb. No one with a brain cares about that kind of shit. 
is complete nonsense for morons. So now, where is the other item? Where is it? Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Red claw. Here we go. No, nobody cares about boxing matches like that. No one. It was a complete stupid thing. It never was anything of anything to talk about. I mean, at this point, it's almost been a year, right? Has it been a year since it happened? Does anyone give a fuck or talk about it now? No one cares. A complete waste of everyone's time. <laughs> Double M says, Wings and Boogie made 10k each. Boogie admitted he spent more than $12,000 on expenses and travel. That's just genius level, dude. <laughs> That's just genius level intelligence right there. Yeah, it sounds like something I should be involved in, right? All right. Anyway, there's a crystal over here. <laughs> More sitting. You can sit on all these. I don't know what the significance is of sitting if it does anything. I can just hook and swing across the entire city, basically. Yeah, see, there's all these different places to hook and swing. Nice. How many hidden items are in the city, I wonder? up there if you need to. What is that over there? Did they say that was the museum? I think that's what they said, right? Welcome oh, to Shellfish Desires, the flagship brick-and-mortar store of Shellfish Corp. How goes it my visibly financially troubled friend? Is that is it that obvious? It is. Or would you come for the upper crust for a bit of window shopping? No shame in it. Plenty of folks pause on their way through town to make a look at our luxury shells. You have five minutes before your pause becomes a loiter. So... Buy shells. Consiglier? A consiglier. You know what this is? It's a piece of pasta. The sorry suits for a shell became flaccid and rubbery when it entered the water. What's the point? Munch it and get some health back. The shuttlecock from badminton. The holes in the side increase both mobility and vision. A shell well suited for gorilla combat. Twist stop. Twist the currents around you to spin. This is the same as the, the other one that we were using. The twist attack. Bartholomew. Look at this. It's, it's uh, light. It's light. Yeah, light. Bombs away. Eject upwards from your shell and detonate it, dealing massive damage to enemies around it. Yeah. So it's basically, it's like a you, you blow up your shell for big damage. Helix cube. Large. This is a heavy one. And this also twists. Little bro. What the? Has a menacing face carved into it. For a brief duration, withstand all interrupts and knockdowns from enemy attacks, even when you're not blocking. Piggy bank. A decoy. Abandon your shell and cause the enemies to attack it for a brief time. Imposter, what the? Uh, it has an Among Us reference in it. I, I wonder if they got permission to do this. Smoke screen. Your umami becomes a dense cloud of ink that causes your enemies to lose track of you. I wonder. Baby's shoe. Another chance. Activate to receive another chance at life as long as the shell remains uh, equipped at death. Then we have... Oh my god, there's three different things. A trophy. Party time. A small blast of confetti deals damage and interrupts enemies. Matroshka. Large size. Rainbow probitalism. Show off your crustacean pride. Blackout poncho. Ivory Poncho. Mr. Krill. He looks like Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krill. Cold Leader. You know what? That's from the, the Sheep game, right? And Midnight. And a Maid Krill. Oh my god. Well, it's fun stuff, but obviously I don't have enough to buy it. Here of the Dog, thank you for another $2 super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Cult of the Land, that's what it was called. Shell Insurance. At Shellfish Desires, you can pay microplastics to ensure any shell you to ensure any shell you've worn before. At a Moonsteel shell, you can pick any insured shell to start with. Oh, really? So here's the cost of each one. 
And then you can start with any of these. Oh, wow. The coconut's super expensive because it's uh, so much health. Well, that's neat. I'd like to be able to start with certain shells. I would say the sauce nozzle was good. The tennis ball is good. Hmm. Man, I need more money. How do I sell items? Have you seen my shell? Did a big shark come into town and try to sell you a shell recently? Sure he did. I told him to get stuffed. We don't do trade-ins. Even if we did, I'd never take the kind of beat-up junk that he was selling me. Not a clue where he went after that. Does no one in the city pay any attention? Uh, I gotta find out where you sell stuff, because I want to sell items and come back and buy stuff. Uh, you don't sell it to her, though. That's the museum there, right? Maybe you sell stuff down down in the in the bottom. I think that's what she had said. Didn't she mention that? That it's this place you sell stuff is down there? I think so. We have to go find it. Oh, here's a crystal. I'm just gonna get this. Any, hold on. Is there an item here? I just wanna look for items before I drop. There's a new save point. Why don't I do that? Cool. Multiple save points in town here. Very nice. Uh, uh, oh, wow. I just received a very generous tip. Thank you so much. A $25 tip. He says, this is one minute man, the small spectator. <laughs> this is the same person who tipped the last time I played this. One minute man. All right, so first of all, let's get an animation going. Well, let's see what one minute man has to say. This will get us to... Whoa, did that work? No. This will get us up to $67 in tips so far today. Thank you so much for that support. Gunner Glass is time. So he says, I am one minute man, the small spectator, the wee watcher, absolutely minuscule audience member. I am absolutely enthralled by this side-scale seafloor story. I wish to express my desire for you to see it through to the end. Well, thank you to one minute man for a $25 tip. That helps a lot today. Thank you so very much. Go ahead and clean the glasses so I can actually wear them. Very nice. <clears throat> thank you, one minute man. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. All right, cool. All right, um, let's see. Get a health? Oh, do I need that? I guess I need it. Uh, he tossed it because uh, I was idle. I think he does that when you're idle. He tosses items. Let's just quickly see if there's anything here. Bell. Nothing happens. Cop. Is it a cop? Oh, maybe not. Phyto? It looks like Taito, but it's Phyto. What is this? Nothing. Like the Taito building. Phyto building. I don't know what that is. Maybe this just gets us back to the main town. We definitely want to go down to this where I can sell stuff. That's what I'm trying to figure out. The town is huge. Oh, look who it is. Is it a vendor? Hey there, long time no see, fellow hustler. You're the guy from the bridge. Sure am. First the name, don't erode it. Seem pretty happy. Didn't you lose all your money? Of course not, pal. Not even close. A shrewd investor never puts all his shells in one. I mean, puts all the butts in one shell. That's my goal in life, to get butts into shells. Specifically my butt. And specifically the fanciest, flashiest, most impressive shell I possibly can. Feel me? Not really. I'm a shell trader, kid. That's our permit's lot in life. Always looking to upgrade, swap out the old shell for a better one. And, if you're smart, you'll get into the business too. A whole lot of opportunity. It is a, what is it, like a Dixie cup? A Dixie cup on it, but. Is this a bouncy thing? No. It's like a bouncy thing. The town is so big, like, I, I don't even know if I've seen everything yet. Is this the entrance? That's where we came in. Okay. I'm trying to figure out, my, get my bearings here. <laughs> Let's see, did I get all the items down here? Uh, I don't really see any more right now. But we do need to find the shop where we can sell. He said it was down here. That's the blacksmith. Where's the shop? Oh, wait a minute, look at that. 
Okay, hold on. Here we go. I think the shop is below me. Yes, the, the bridges are made of, rece of receipts from stores. <clears throat> have I ever punched a bee? I mean, not straight up, like, punch it with my knuckles, but I've slapped bees around a bit. They try to fly near me, I slap them away. Bottom feeders, here we go. Hey there, young and welcome to Bottom Feeders, finest watering hole this side of the slurry. My name's Krill. I'm new to town, I guess. I thought I'd recognize a fresh face. Pleased as plastic to meet you, Krill. Name's Nemo. You got the money, why not stop in for a bite? My kiddos and I would love you. Also, offer a stowaway hiring service if you're interested. So, shell. If it's not too much of a bother, I'm looking for a shark that took my shell. Any chance he stopped here? Really sure I'd remember a fellow like that? Sorry, so he didn't. That's okay, no worries. What's a stowaway? I'm sure you've seen them around. That's our nickname for any sort of little fellow that sticks itself to your shell? Oh, like a barnacle. Exactly. And for the right price, there's all sorts of them that could tag along. So you can buy those. We found a bunch, but they'll buy you can buy them from her. Okay. Increase your stowaway capacity. 2,500 microplastics. I wish I could. I don't have it. I need to sell. There's no one who will buy stuff for me yet, right? <clears throat> Fire stowaways. Look. Yeah, look. Limpit Barnacle. These are the ones we have right now. 28 attack. 28 attack. What the heck? You need to have an overall 28 attack to use this thing. Health drain. A lamprey. Increase the microplastic rewards that you receive. Some of these are great. Another crab. The size of the crab knows no upper bounds. Revive one, once upon death. Ah. Okay. Dismiss stowaways. So I can sell? Is that what they're saying? Yes, I can sell. Oh, cool. All right. You know what? I'm going to sell the sand dollars. I don't want the sand dollars. These are the ones when you die, you don't lose your microplastics. I'll never use those. And I have too many sea stars. I don't need those. I'll sell two of those. All right. Everything else I'll keep. Actually, I don't know if I want the rusty nail. Yeah, I'll sell the rusty nail. Same thing here. Sell this. I don't want ones that are going to minus at all. Okay. Cool. I just made a ton of money. Healing effectiveness up. I could buy another barnacle and have two, but I need to increase. You know what I want to do? I'm going to increase my capacity. There you go. Nice. Now I can equip more. That is super useful. Yeah. All right, I'm not gonna buy any. But I'm gonna equip a new one. Wait, how much is it to increase again? 5,000, I'm definitely not doing that. Okay. But here we go. I can equip one more. Plus two MSG, plus two res, plus two attack. Um. Plus two attack. So now I have res, attack, and defense buffs. Cool. Well, that was good. It looks like I have to sell some stuff, right? I guess let's go see the blacksmith. Got driving. Cool. Holy there. Oh, oi there, scrap. Not holy there. Oi there, scrap. The fine piece of metal in your claws there. Lots of promise. Here to make it shine with me, scrap? Have you seen my shell? Almost don't want to ask, but did a big jerk shark come here trying to sell a shell for scrap? It would probably seem crazy to you because the shell was super gorgeous and cool. He came by, turned that shell to scrap as soon as I could. What, are you serious? Sure as seafoam I am. Wait, you said a shark? Scrap that, my mistake, no sharks came by. What do you think I said? You almost gave me a heart attack. I need to shout, scrap. My ears work just fine. Make it shine. You mean my fork? It's some piece of junk I found in my neighborhood. What a piece of junk it is, Scrap. This old smith has some relics he can break down, and it'll show you what kind of junk yours truly really is. Sounds useful. So upgrade the fork. Let's do it. 
And my fork is no longer rusty. Plus five attack. That's huge. I need to find two more relics. Cool. Plus five is huge. How's the game so far? It's pretty good zombie wolf packs. I like it. I mean, it's not perfect. There's a few things about it that are wonky and unrefined. But outside of that, I think the game is neat. It has a, an ingenuity to it that I'm really liking. Red claw. I gotta figure out where to sell. We still don't know where we can sell. We have all these items to sell. Roughing the city ain't easy. Roughing it in the city ain't easy. I'd rather be strolling down here than dead out there. Towns are getting polluted every week. So is that what happened? Is that the kingdom we were in got polluted and then they all got corrupted and they turned evil, basically. Whoa, 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 steady on. No one's not one step further. You're gonna keep your distance. How come? How come? Your eyes full of sediment. Can't you see what I am? I'm the type of guy who hurts everyone he touches. That can't possibly be true. But you just haven't found the right person to show you affection yet. I could give you a hug. Maybe that would help you. Bloody Shelmet, you're an odd one. Take my advice and leave me. Ah. What I bloody tell you, mate? Everyone's got the same story. Old Eric can't be that pointy. You got such a sense of humor. And that happens you get poked like the rest of them. You can say I didn't warn you. I won't give up. I won't give up. I'm going to hug you no matter what it takes. I really appreciate the effort, but it wasn't being metaphorical. You see these spikes, right? The physical spikes, the spikes that'll make you... I've been through worse. Your funeral, mate. So basically, this is a side quest. Right? It's a side quest to be able to touch the guy and not take damage. And I wonder how you do it. Like, do you need to get a special ability or something? Right? I wonder. <laughs> the last time Isla gave him the snips, not a full plan. But mom, you're making a move on Porgy and he, snips always work. What are they talking about? What the hell are they talking about? You think the race car is a Toy Story reference? Maybe it is. I missed it. I didn't really look at it. Go by. RC. It does look like RC. You're right. It totally does look like RC from Toy Story. Sure. The pawn shop. This must be where you sell stuff. Oh, nice. Look at this. Out of the way. I need this crystal. Hey, Manta. Yeah, Coley. That guy broke our cool crystal. No way. Walked right up and broke it. What happened to live and let live? No idea. Life isn't what it used to be. Want to go find another one? I sure do. <laughs> we broke your crystal. Well, I need it for upgrade. Sorry, stupid. Need small for a word of advice. Don't stick your claws on what's going on here. There are a lot of plastics, Porgy. A lot of plastics. You're good for it, though, right? I'm in significant trouble. Do you want me to help? No, thank you. I'll, I'll never grow as a person if I don't fight my own battles. Wow. Well, can't help. I don't want the help. So, can I go in? What the hell? I want to pawn stuff. Oh, there's an item on top. I just saw an item on top of the building. Chip claw. Ugh, I can't I can't pawn stuff. Come on. I want I want to get my money and buy stuff and they won't let me. Like they're purposefully holding me back to be able to buy stuff. By the way, there's another crystal over there. Wow. I'm gonna get that crystal. The end is nigh. You there, young man? We made preparations for the apocalypse. The ignorance of our youth. The gunk is coming. No one knows where it comes from, but it's taking over Crab's home. See, I have no idea. So, gunk, which we've already seen. The gunk was what took over the kingdom and made the queen go crazy, right? There's another crystal. Cool, let's get it. Is this? It is, isn't it? It's a giant mannequin's leg. And you can climb it. What the hell is on top of it? 
There's the city. What's above it? Nothing? You can't get on top of the leg? No, you can't. You can climb the leg. You can't get on top. Oh, you just can't. Hmm. <laughs> Is there anything here? I don't think so. Hit the ledge, but do anything else here. Oh, you can't climb the toilet cleaner. <laughs> There's a Wolong DLC. That's quite unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. I feel really bad for anyone who uh, plays it. Oh, what is it? Another item. Dude, I can't stop finding items. Another bread claw. This town is full and rife with items. Every turn, there's a new item. It just sucks that I can't do the pawn shop thing. It won't work. So where didn't we go? We didn't go to the museum yet. That's the one place we didn't investigate. It looks like maybe we finally got all the items now. Maybe. right through it. <laughs> oh no, now I'm stuck here. Uh. When did I make it to the City of Rapture, says Felix the Maid. Yes, the under the under city, underwater city. It's pretty nice. I think this is the... Where's the museum? Oh, you know what we should do? We have enough to go teleport and get an ability now, and I kind of want to do that. There's the museum right there. Oh, I can also level up. Cool. Um, let's do attack again. Yeah! And then let's shell a port. The moon snail's domain and get an upgrade. This is gonna allow us to take any shell and stab it with the fork and become a super mallet weapon, which I want. Okay. Here it is. Scrap hammer. The hermit crab finds himself unsatisfied with his makeshift weapon. He seeks greater strength, more ability to crush enemies, lest he find himself crushed. It's quickly discovered the best defense can be a powerful offense. So just do a charge attack on any shell and become a giant hammer. Alright, and then... This is what I want next. Dispatch. When you capsize any enemy by filling their stun bar, then you get a down attack for massive damage. That's my next one for sure. And after that, I have no clue what I'll get next, but that's next. Okay. There it is. Look, scrap hammer. Boink. And I got a giant, look, a giant hammer smash. Oh, that's excellent. That could be good for certain fights and stuff. I wonder if there's new weapons in the game this guy. Probably not, as you saw. We did an upgrade to our... We did an upgrade to our uh, fork that increased our damage output, but I don't think it's going to swap weapons. I think we'll always have the same weapon. It seems that way anyway. Okay, so... We want to go to the museum. I think that's right over here. That's the one place we haven't been yet. Nightbot timed you out? Yeah, Nightbot timed you out for 10 minutes. I don't know why, but Nightbot timed you out probably because of emotes or something. It's not a big deal. It didn't permanently ban you. It said it was a 10 minute, like 600 second timeout. Oh, look at this. Can I go out this way? No. Okay, I'll go somewhere else. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you like that. I'm under a lot of pressure. People are not happy that they can't get this to the open ocean right now. They even calling me names like phoned in progress blocker and saying my fence is lazy design. For good reason, Trash Island is on its way here right now. If we kept all the avenues of transit open during Trash Day, it'd be a goddamn ship show in here. Why can't these civvies understand there are rules for a reason? Huh. Well, and this is a good place to save. And uh, we're going to split the part and come back. And then we'll continue on with our adventure. Awesome.